everyone welcome back to guitar and merch youtube channel all right today we're going to continue on the comparison in of the m models uh, within uh, hx storm so in the previous video uh, we did a comparison between the a30 fawn brt uh, versus the line 6 litigator m model both going into the same uh, tone junkie elnico silver ir okay so i'm going to continue on with this series and hopefully uh, this gives a very good insight of how different M models actually uh, give you different tones and sounds. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to uh, look at AC30 again, right? The same AC30 that we have been always using. Okay, but we're going to do it uh, against a matchless M model. Now, in the matchless M model, there are actually uh, quite a few, uh, three different uh, M models. There's channel 1, channel 2 and jump. So as you go up the channels, basically, it just gives you a bit more drive, uh, overdriven tones uh, to your sound. So I'm just going to keep it to uh, Matchstick Channel 1. Another observation is uh, the Matchstick, the Matchless M, which is called Matchstick, uh, uses a little bit more DSP. So when I actually copy the uh, AC30 patch over, uh, I could not choose the Matchless M. I had to delete, de delete one of the delays. Alright, so it requires a little bit more DSP. Alright, so the signal chain is the same. The guitar is going into my super clean exotic pedal, into the uh, brown amplification, uh, amplification protein pedal, and then it's going into the HX Storm, and finally it's going out to the garage band and recording. Alright, so let's start with some clean sounds from the AC30M model. Let's check out the match list now. to the AC30 to the matchless now Okay, so initial impressions, um, the Vox as usual is our go-to for the chimey sounds, right? But when I kick on the matchless, uh, straight away the bass frequencies jumps out in front. It becomes a much bassier tone, 
uh, in a way it translates to uh, a slightly fatter tone because it's bassier. Um, it's a little bit more enjoyable to play because now you hear the full frequency of a, a little bit more bass going in, give a bit more low end going in. So it feels kind of enjoyable to hear a full sound, especially when you are playing by yourself. Now I'm, I'm not sure how this is going to sound in a mix of a band because I have not used it live, um, but it's going to be interesting. Right, so there's the bass right now is at about 5.0. Um, of course, there's room to bring it down some more. What I did was I brought up the traps a little bit to 6.2 and I brought up the presence as well to give it a bit more uh, brightness. Maybe I'm going to bring down the bass a little bit. Let's see how it sounds. Huh? Bring it down to 4. Okay, so they reduce a little bit of the low end so as not to cloud the sound. I'm going to save it. without too being too bassy in the clean sounds uh, between the AC30 and the matchless. Alright, so right now let's maybe kick on some drive and let's see how that sounds. Okay, I'm going to kick on the blue side of the protein pedal. Okay, so this is the AC30 with the protein turned on. the matchless right now <coughs> Thank you. 
Bachelors now. So that it's uh, the two preamps, uh, two M models with the uh, protein blue side. Okay, so right now let's try the green side of the protein with the bridge pickup and let's hear how it sounds. Okay, with a little bit of the distortion side. Right, so let's start with the AC30. Here's the matchless. Here's the AC to you. The matchless. Click on a dotted delay now, okay, with the AC30. right now with the matchless with the delay on Alright, so we hope you enjoyed the comparison between the AC30M model and the Matchless M model. Alright, the Matchless itself has a nice chime. At the same time, it provides a very good uh, low-end, nice bass frequencies, which then translate to a, having a fatter tone, a more bodied tone. So especially if you're going for like a chuck chuck chugga chuck kind of a sound, uh, I would prefer to use something M model that gives me that kind of low end so you f you feel that there's more uh, overall thickness to the sound. But if you're going for something uh, brighter, chimier, the Vox is still the way to go. I think it has a nice clarity to the sound which then helps you to cut through the mix as well. Alright, so if you like this kind of comparisons between M models, uh, do drop in the comments below which which M models you would like us to kind of do an AB. Our AB is very straightforward. We're just going to change the M model. We're not going to touch any other things. Uh, the IR stays the same. The reverb stays the same. The delay stays the same. Only the M model changes, so you can hear exactly what the difference. How does the M model actually change your tone? 
right? The cool thing is, is everything is in the HX Storm. So you can just save it as another patch, and for this song, you can use the sound. For another song, you can use another sound. All right? So we hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a good thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the latest videos. Okay, you take care, stay safe, God bless. I will see you real soon. Okay, bye.